Hi everyone, welcome to another Nemesis video. This time I'm going to do something a bit different and show you a way to make some simple custom bases for the breeders and a custom dead crew member token. I'm first going to quickly paint the breeders, but before I do that there's a gap in the knees that needs to be fixed. This part is optional, if it doesn't bother you just leave it, but I'm going to fill mine with some green stuff. So I'm rolling up a Play-Doh worm and pressing it into the gaps. The best tip I can give here is to keep your fingers wet so the green stuff doesn't stick to you instead of the model. Next I'm going to be using some textured plastic card for the base. I'll post a link in the description for where you can buy this stuff if you want it, but you can also use an old plastic card from your wallet. Take out that visa you've been using to buy new Kickstarters, cut it up and use it for debris on your bases. I'm using some pliers here to put a couple bends in the plastic card to make it look like it was ripped from the wall or the floor. Now I'm using my hobby knife to cut three deep scratches to simulate some claw marks. And finally I'm using some super glue to place this debris somewhere on the base. And you can see the breeders have a lot of empty space on their bases. For the other bases, I'm going to be cutting up our friend here, Mr. Melted Soldier. If you're like me, you have two or more copies of the soldier, a good one and a misshapen one. I have three of these for some reason. I'm cutting the gun off this one to use as basing material. I'm just removing all traces of the soldier's hands and making sure this is going to lay relatively flat. And just like with the soldier I painted, I'm drilling out the gun barrel. For this second base, I've cut another piece of the plastic card and I'm gluing it down, then I'm gluing the gun on top of that. After the glue is hardened, I'm priming the breeders with the Zenithal Prime exactly the same way as the adult intruders. If you haven't seen how I've done this, I'll put a link in the description and at the end of the video. I'm making one small change with the wash however, I'm mixing equal parts Drakenhof Nightshade and Celia Greenshade, just for a little color variation. I'm applying it the same way though, start at the top and basically smother the model with the wash and wipe away any large pools with your brush. Next I'm lightly dry brushing the entire miniature with Ulfu and Grey, trying my best to pick out all the edges of the exoskeleton. Once that's done, I'm switching to Screamer Pink. I'm using this on all the areas that look like ribbed structures on the legs and the torso. Now I'm doing the inside of the mouth using roughly equal parts of a light flesh color and Screamer Pink. This one is Cardic Flesh from P3. Next I'm painting the large crystal structures coming out of the shoulders with Nagaroth Knight. There's more crystal-like bumps on the legs and I'm painting these as well. I'm switching to a wash now, this one is Carol Burke Crimson. If you don't have this one, it's not super necessary and you can skip this step, but I'm going to be adding it to all the areas that I painted with the pink. And the last step for these guys is a quick dry brush highlight of the pink and purple areas. The pink areas are getting equal parts Screamer Pink and White Scar, whereas the crystals are getting Demon Ed Hide. Or you can just mix white into the purple you originally used. Now I'm going to finish off the bases. The first color for this is Celestial Grey, and I'm using this for the panels that are on the floor. Then I'm using Army Painter's gun metal on the floors of the base and the big gun. Then I'm painting the rest of the gun just like I did in the soldier video. The gun grip is getting German grey and the cylinder on the bottom is getting a light gold or brass.
Now I'm using Nuln Oil Gloss to completely cover the floor, panels, and the gun. Next I want to add a bit of color to these bases, so I'm going to be adding a hazard stripe down the middle of one of these panels. I've traced a couple straight lines and I'm painting the space between them with Xandri Dust, followed by Cygnus Yellow. Then using a bad and black, I'm marking out where I want my stripes to be. These are going to be crooked to start and I'm not super worried about going outside the line as they can be touched up later. You can see here mine look pretty terrible, but I'll straighten these out off camera. And this is me fixing the edge with some more of the Celestra Grey. Now I'm painting the rim of the base with more of the German Grey. I'm going to let that dry and then spray the entire miniature with a satin varnish because I want my intruders to have a nice shiny exoskeleton. The final step for the breeders before I call them finished is to add some random slime and blood using Nurgle's Rot and Blood for the Blood God. When these dry, they dry hard and glossy, so I always add them after my varnishes. So that's the breeders finished, and now what to do with the soldier's body. I was going to toss it out, then I remembered that at the beginning of each game, there is a dead player token in the starting room. That's what this guy is going to become, but his pose isn't quite right to lay flat. I've got a teacup full of boiling water here, and I'm going to let the soldier soak for about 30 seconds before pressing him as flat as possible onto the base. It's mostly just his legs that need repositioning. Once the soldier has cooled and hardened, I'm going to glue him face down onto the base. I'm also trying to position him in such a way that I can't see where I cut his feet from the base. Now I won't bore you by showing you how I painted this guy, it's exactly the same as I did in the soldier video. If you haven't seen that, I'll post a link in the description in case you're interested. Next I'm painting the rim, again with German Grey, and this time I'm spraying the miniature with a matte varnish. And finally, blood. Lots of blood, pooling under the body of our unfortunate soldier. And there you have it, a repurposed melted soldier and some simple custom bases for the breeders. A special thanks to Brian Jones for sponsoring the channel and thank you very much to all my patrons for your continued support. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you very much for watching.